Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to Conversations. I'm Reggie Miles and I'm so glad that you've decided to join us on this particular day because you didn't have to do, you didn't have to come in and listen to me just talk and do all that stuff. You didn't have to do it at all, but I'm glad you did. I'm so happy that you're here. I just, I just need to tell you, Conversations is an oral history program. You know, I'm not here to bash this side, that side. I'm not here to have any differences, any more differences in what we do. What I'm trying to do is to just lay out the history from those people that I know have done it before. See, because listen, technology makes it easy for, no, well, not easy, but it's Technology has a lot of information now, or because of technology, there's a lot of information about the recent history or the recent past of this dance that we love called stepping. But there are a lot of people that technology didn't have an advantage for. And so I'm trying to reach out and get those people so they can tell their story so that maybe that you who are stepping today or dancing today, you will be inspired by some of the things that we used to do in the years when we were dealing with the way we were, okay? Uh, out of towners, people who don't live in Chicago, I welcome you to listen to this. And those of you who are in Chicago, I welcome you to listen to this because all we're going to do is talk about the history and talk about the his and her stories of each individual that we interview on Conversations. I'm Reggie Miles, and today we've got some great, I've got some great ladies that will be coming in to share their stories with us. So uh, without further ado, let me get out of here and make the introduction and, uh, and finish my introduction, right, my disclaimer, so we can get into the conversations with with some great ladies. As a matter of fact, the next two shows will feature just the ladies. So stay tuned to Conversation. I'm so glad you could make it. Sit down, sit down. Oh, yeah. Oh, the band is going to be awesome tonight. I dig it. Well, we're here. We're back. I'm back at least. And we're going to kick this show off. Let me bring in one third of our guests today. Miss Val Simons. How Val? How you doing? I'm great, Reggie Miles. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So we're going to sit here and we're going to talk about this thing from A to Z. You know, Val, it's just, it's no controversy. It's just straight up conversation. So Val, uh, just give us a uh, a background of when you came into the dance, when did you start stepping or bopping okay. or walking? Okay. <laughs> well, I started um, at the age of, well, I was eight years old. My aunt, she used to frequent the peps, which is the war recall. And by the time I was eight years old, I knew how to mumble and cha-cha because of her. And uh, I used to watch her and my mom. They were dancing, uh, I guess, like the man oh man would, two women dancing. And I would see my grandmother dancing. 
And uh, I used to sit and watch them. And then once my aunt taught me how to mumbo and cha-cha, and then she taught me how to bop. And then I would bop with them at the age of eight years old. And I used to sit and watch them when they would get dressed and go out. And I used to always say, I can't wait till I become a teenager so I can go out and do the dances that they were doing. So at the age of, I think I was maybe 16. I didn't turn 17 until that September. I went with her to Budland. That was my first time ever entering into a club. And that was the Budland. And, and I think that was a Friday night. And that was the night of the, that the dance sets had their set down there. So I, I remember the stage and I remember the floor because it had like some water on the floor. So I assumed that it had been raining uh, water had been leaking from the ceiling. And uh, I saw several people, but one person that really stood out to me and that was Ricky Huff. <laughs> Cause he had the curls and those wire frame glasses. And back then in the seventies, you know, you guys were wearing those knit pants, the bell bottoms <laughs> and those platform <laughs> shoes. Yeah. <laughs> so he stood out <laughs> to me and I asked my aunt and I said, who was that guy? And she said, well, you know, he's younger than he's younger than I am much younger. And uh, Ricky Huff was the one that kind of stood out to me. And, um, uh, after that, I would frequent, because I li I grew up on the west side, I would frequent uh, places like uh, Pete's, Pete's Place, and that was on 18th and Pulaski. Wait a minute, 16 Val. 16 years old. Wait a minute, Val. You one, of them, you one of them west side girls that masqueraded as a south side. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, I, I thought you was on the south side. So you mean to tell me you're originally from the west side? Yes, I am. Oh, wow. Okay. Vice Lord. Vice Lord. <laughs> Londale <laughs> area. Yes, okay. I am. <laughs> so I would frequent uh, Pete's Place and Casablanca, which at the time there was no dancing in the Casablanca. So you would always, you know, that was that was a place that was open until 5 a.m. So once Pete's closed up at 2, then everyone would migrate around the corner to the Casablanca. Okay. And then uh, by me growing up on the West Side, the Kemas Club, I freak with the Kemas Club. Uh, it was another place we used to go to. Uh, it was several places on the West Side. Uh, it was a place on Pulaski and Costner called Charlie's. Mm -hmm. Um, it was another place called Charlie's and that was on Chicago Avenue, city, city limits, MGM, Graham, the Rose. It was several places there. It's so many Reggie Golden Fork, <laughs> River's Edge. Wow. So, uh, two thirds of the, of the crew is here. So let's say hello to Miss Tina Wilson. Tina, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> Sitting all quiet and laid back and reserved. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna set and set the scene with you in the same way. Uh, tell us who you are. And tell us about your history. When did you start learning how to dance? And tell us about you in this thing called stepping. Okay. Um, well, I really learned how to dance by watching my mother and father. Um, I had to be about nine or ten, you know, <laughs> watching them, and 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 nobody ever taught me how to dance. I just watched and learned that way. So um, I didn't know anything about a count or anything. But back when, you know, back when I was coming up, nobody was teaching anybody to dance. You had to watch what they did in order to learn how to dance. So, so did you, did you do the dance in high school? Of course, sock hops and uh, what the corner store. <laughs> you know, they had, the, yeah, they had the corner store where you can go to the corner store at lunchtime and dance. You know, so we did a lot of dancing when we were coming up. Okay, so and I have what 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 side of town were you on? <laughs> 
South, where you from? South, south, side, south. West side and South side. Okay. All right. All right. So that, that's good. So now that we've got that established, um, as a teenager or when you were coming, well, I would say when you were able to go to the clubs, what were some of the places that you frequented, Miss Wilson? You know, a, a lot of people went a lot of places, but I did. Mm -hmm. I did. You know, I probably I went to the uh, Bud Land. I went to uh, uh, the Broadway Strand. I went. Um, where else did I go? A lot of places. Uh, the Keemans Club. I went to uh, what was the name of that place over there on 87th and Ashland, Valerie? Um, um, the Sheba. The Sheba. That turned to Mr. G's. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Turned into Mr. G's. Right. Mm -hmm. Copper Box. Yes. Right. Wow. Hummingbird. Right. Yeah, yeah. Green Bunny, which was the uh, became Green the Godfather Bunny. and was popping. Mm -hmm. Right. Sam, wow. you been over there? Right. Did you all uh, ever get go to the dungeon? I didn't. I didn't either, Reggie. Because I always thought those uh, those people were much younger, which mm -hmm. they weren't. Some of them were maybe a year behind me. But that, to me, was like a freestyle dancing, which I knew had to do that at some point. But I prefer what, what I originally learned was bopping. Mm -hmm. And that, that's amazing. That was, that's the strange, strange thing among us, right? Because uh, it seemed like and when I came out of school in 72, it was like, we weren't going to associate with, <laughs> with no more underclassmen no more. Uh, I didn't hang out with people that came out in 73, 74, 75. I thought I was grown when I got out of high school. And uh, I wasn't trying Did to you go to the dungeon. Never. No, when I when the dungeon was out, I was too old. You know, uh, yeah, I was like the dungeon came out in what? 74, 75. So I, I was. Yeah, I was like at that time in '75. I was 21, so I wasn't going down there being in no dungeon. Not saying that it was anything wrong with the people that was going down there, but it was just like I I didn't hang out with the underclassmen. You know, I was done. I was you know, uh yeah I was past that teenage years, and I I wanted to be with the grown folks. You know, you know Reggie, some of those people I used to see when uh, Sam went migrated to the Beverly House on 103rd. Mm -hmm. Now some of those people, like Ty Skippy, I'm sure I don't. I'm not sure if Macaroni George went. Macaroni was there on a, a on, at a, uh at the Beverly House. At yeah. the Beverly House, but I'm not sure if he went to the dungeon. Right. 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 Because George, uh, George, I think he came out of out of school with the. Uh, Kim Bowie now. Okay. And, yeah, I think because they were at Phillips. Him and Raymond Smith, you know, all those guys, they were and Pete. They were all at uh they were all at Phillips. Okay. Well, I remember George uh and Kim Bowie, they they were all at the uh Beverly. They were at the Beverly House on mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. So so we got some good conversation uh so far. Well, at least well, a lot of people are saying hello. Uh, let's see. Angela is saying hello. Uh, Vera, they all checking in on you. Joyce. And, of course, let's see who else is saying. Uh, Carlene. And we got folk from the West Coast checking in. I'm waiting in, waiting for my East Coast people to check in as well. We're talking with conversations today, and we're dealing with the, uh, and I call this crew the Walking Sisters, because these ladies <laughs> still <laughs> these, these ladies, these ladies can really dance, I mean. And here's the thing, um, uh, these ladies can do it all, and I, I, I'm just in awe of uh, the the talents of these ladies, they can, they can do, they can dance with the, with the guys today, the next generation, they can bop with me and they can walk. So all the out of towners, if you're listening in, kind of listen close and 
see if you could pick up. And if there are some questions that you might want to ask these ladies on how they do that or, or how they got to do that, then that would be that would be really, really something. Uh, coming up next week will be not next week on Monday. We will have uh, Yvonne Jefferson. Oh, uh, wow. We're going to her and Sandra Swain are okay. going to, to talk about it because we're going to get to the root to the real to the real foundation to the bottom floor of what we've been doing now ladies you all are in this dance and you've been doing this dance a long time what are some of the things that let's talk a little bit about the etiquette what of what are some of the things that you've seen change from you know back when you started that you don't see anymore today well uh, when you walk in, usually they say walk is on the outside and step is on the inside, you know, but that left, they just be all over the place. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all over the place. We always, you know, I mean, that's the way it was, you know, when, but usually back in the day, Valerie, when we walked, everybody walked. Right. See, there everybody was no walked. One step. There wasn't no steppers on the floor. No. Wasn't no bumpers, it, was, it was just walkers. <laughs> so, you know, so uh, when we came up, we knew how to do everything. We had to learn. We had to know how to walk and pop, step. Right. Or Whatever. Slow by, we did, our, you know, we did it all. So do, so, you, do you find it difficult uh, uh dancing with some of the next generation dancers or do you find yourself looking to want to dance with people in your generation or, or what no i love to dance with all generations because i like you know i like to change up the steps stay the same the mm. movement is different you gotta get in where you fit in <laughs> you know, i like you know I, you know i like dancing with Sean, he danced, you know, he have a different dance. You know, the younger guys, they have a different dance, and I like that. Mm -hmm. I mm. like that. And then, you know, I, I like dancing with everybody because I like to change up. Whatever they want to do, that's what I want to do. Because I know it's one thing to keep in mind, it's all the same. It's the, the movement looks different. But the steps are the same. The same. The tempo is different. Their tempo is different, right. but the steps are the same. And I agree with Tina. I enjoy dancing with Sean because Sean can dance. He he can migrate to our our dance. And I right. like dancing with Tick Man. Right. He does the same as well. And Drury Alexander from Texas. He can adjust to our dance as well. So that so so how important is being able to adjust? I'm glad you said that, Val. Let's pick up on that. How important is, you know, uh, adjusting? Should you just stay in a particular pattern when you're dancing with somebody? Or how do you know when to adjust or what like that? You know, Tina, how do you get yourself ready to go from uh, bopping with me to dancing with uh, Sean? Tempo. Well, let me think. What can I say about that? You know, I think no matter who it is I'm dancing with, I can to I can adjust to the way they dance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I like moving the way they move. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, but I still keep my own style. Mm. I, I still keep my own style, but I adjust to whatever they do. They don't have to adjust to me. I can adjust to what they do. Mm. Ladies, did you hear that? And that is so true. <laughs> you, you hear that about that adjustment? Mm, mm, let go on, let let go on and let the king do what he want to do. You know, and make him th make, right. him, make him yeah, feel like know, I have to follow. I can't leave. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Go ahead. I like to follow. Yeah. You know, I like following. I like whatever they do, I want to do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's, and you know, that's what makes dancing fun for me. Mm. You know, I'm not doing the same thing every time I get on the floor. I'm adjusting to whatever that person want to do. And what I love is 
in every age they ask me to dance. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now see, now that that's the whole uh that's like the whole basis of why I'm doing this because you know I agree that there is there is no difference. I mean, like like Daryl uh Daryl Davis said, you know, um uh, bopping is the original dance, stepping is the popular name, they're both the same, right? It's just, it's just in how you apply or execute the step. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they so, haven't changed anything to me. Not this, you know, it's the same steps. Mm -hmm. You know, they might turn more or, you know, whatever they doing, they still got to keep them same steps. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're doing, you still got to keep the same doing, steps. Uh oh, exactly. I got, I got the to write that step. down. See, there it's you go. It's the same I, steps, Reggie, it is. I got to write that down. See, you don't have to do I got you know, I, Reggie. Well, you, you know, huh? yeah. Well, I want I want to write that down because see, I want to get excited. I want to get re excited about the dance, you know, because it's been, uh, it's been a lot of talk, and and it's good that there's a lot of talk, but uh, I think the talk has been moving us in different directions instead of moving us towards each other in direction because all of us i know all of us in our generation when we went to our first parties there was some people a lot older than us at these parties that was true and okay. i and i like the fact that you know i got noticed and recognized uh by one of the older one of the older gentlemen or my or my elders for uh for the way i styled in my dance you know, I was glad for them to talk to me, but uh, it's it's a different generation and we just have to find better ways of communicating to some of the younger people, you That's know, true. that are coming out on the set. Because uh, I got a letter, I got a, I got a text today from a lady that told me that she was at a party. She went to a party and she didn't hear a walking song in three hours. Wow, you know, and back back when we danced, that was unheard of. That was unheard of. I mean, you heard multiple walking songs every hour, <laughs> you know. Yeah, true. And yeah. I'm just, and so I, I've been on a campaign called, and a T-shirt is coming out. It's gonna be "Keep Walking Alive." <laughs> oh <know>? wow, <laughs> keep walking alive, you know, because. Um, I mean, walking is fun. Now, let's talk about walking and some of the, you know, execution that's going in with walking. A lot of people think that the walk is just supposed to be for uh, couples that have an intimate relationship. What you say about that, Valerie? It's, the, it's not just for couples. It's for anyone that that's interested in learning how to walk, like Tabitha, Tabitha uh, Hicks. Mm -hmm. She she wants to learn how to walk because she said, I love that dance. I love to see Tina dance. I love to see you and Lester walk. She said, I love it. So it's, it's not a uh, intimate. This not just for couples. If you, I can, I can walk with you, Reggie. I can walk with anyone and we could walk and we can show our dance. It doesn't have to be Lester. So some ladies feel that it's an intimate dance and they don't want their mate dancing with other people. And to me, this is just my opinion. I I don't see nothing wrong because Lester walks with Tina, Lester walks with Andrea. So it's a dance. We're there to have fun. And that's what I enjoy about me, I can dance with other guys. Lester dance with other women. And because we're dancing, we're having fun. And they, they like Lester's style. A lot of people like, a lot of women like my style. A lot of women like Tina's style. Because Tina's style is different. And it's I love both it's of you. Good. Style. It's a good style. <laughs> so it's an intimate dance per se, but not just strictly for couples. Because mm -hmm. when I 
when I uh, I went to Yvonne's set, when they started at the Park Palladium, and that's where I met Lester. And I think I was like 22, and Deidre, uh, Deidre Morgan, Angie's sister, and there was another lady, Charnel. She, the three of us went to that set and read. I love Deidre, boy. Oh my God. We had a ball. And I just sat and watched Charlie Green and Yvonne Paramore, Black Mary, Sandra's sister. I just watched those people walk. And and I thought about my aunt. Angie, if they had a camera back then, if they, if the oh cell phone, my God. Was, oh my God. Talking you know about that. Some team. of those moments, Reggie. Yeah. Was, they, people need to see that because those people, it's so many people that are that's no longer here, Reggie. They were great walkers. It's so many of them. And Calvin Barnes is still here. And yeah, Frank, Calvin Barnes. Frank, they call right. him Hollywood Frank. He's still here. One of the those best. people I used yeah. to just sit and watch because they were great walkers. Still is. Oh yeah, Hollywood. Hollywood, Hollywood Frank, he can yeah. still walk good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, Hollywood, he definitely gets down. Definitely, he, he, uh, him and him and Miss Miles, Mrs. Miles, Leanna, yes. they, they yes. I mean, he, he put on the show. He put on the show uh, one one evening uh, in the fifty, and I was I started crying because I hadn't I hadn't seen the Gosta walk executed like that. And then uh, James Shanks can do it too. Oh yes, yes he can. Yes, he can. James Shanks, he he's still one of the last gospel boppers and walkers. And walkers. Boy, that, yeah, that is so boy. true. That boy. Oh, my God. So, uh, and so Reggie, if we could take this, if we could take these people, like, to Dallas so they can see the original walking styles. Mm -hmm. What you mean, Val? That would make a that would make a whole lot of difference if they could see the original. The original walkers do the walk, and I said that at the beginning of the program. I said, you know, technology has really, you know, it has really, you know, helped the present day, but the technology has only been showing uh, present day just the immediate stuff all of our stuff you know our generation there's just nothing on it so that's that was really the primary reason why i started conversations just so at least we could just talk about it you know mm -hmm. to have some history of it because the way the mindset of uh our people now they they figure that if they can't see it it's it what it didn't happen and I, I can't go out like that, you know. I can't go out like that. So what what little remnants I got with uh, Lester Buford and Bill Perkins and some of the other guys that still do classic walking, uh, I want to get get it and put as much of it on film as possible, so that the walking really can be preserved. Go right. ahead. Right, and and uh, back to walking. Uh, when we, when I would come out, Reggie, I never saw like Don Vic. Uh, you got Don Vic, you have Lester, you have Shanks, you have Buford, you have Tyrone Wallace. Great dance. You have, uh, oh, he, uh, I'm trying to think, Calvin Barnes. These are just some of the guys. You never saw them in blue jeans. They, those oh. men were always dressed always dressed, never came out in blue jeans. The women didn't come out in blue jeans. We were always dressed. Mm -hmm. So, Tina, let's talk about that. And then, Tina, I'm going to show, I got a little piece of uh, you and uh, Magic Mike, because I want, in your style, I want you to talk about, I want you, I want, I mean, because it's like your aura when you're dancing, it's just like you just, you, you hold your head up high like you're a proud woman. And, you know, I want people to see that, that, you know, even though the the relationship, I mean, not the relationship, but the dance look close, but y'all not really close. We're not and, really close. And, We're and, not really close. And the man is not all over you, but it looks like y'all attached at the hip. We're not. Mm -hmm. And things like that. So we can really clear this up. And I really, I had a question today. One lady, she texted me and she thanked me because uh, 
each time one of these shows come up, there's a little something here and there that comes out. What is a good walking song? Hmm. There's so uh, many of them. Mm -hmm. well, that's just because I mean it, the lady said that she didn't know what a walking song is. Okay, I I like Smokey Bill Robinson. What love has joined together? Yeah, like, walk in the road by him. I like Jerry I like, Butler's uh, That's what I was getting ready to say, Jerry <laughs> Butler's that's my, come on, yeah. strawberries. Yeah, yeah, strawberries. You can walk off of that. You can. And what mm -hmm. about the 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 Dells? Um, Oh, what a, I'm sorry. Oh, Go what ahead. a night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can walk the off gifts, of that. It's another walk song. The gifts, right. loving you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and so now, uh, walking music doesn't necessarily have to be, and I'm going to say that acronym that people got all upset about. Walk Walking music doesn't have to be none of those old-ass dusty records. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you can... You can you can actually do some good walking on some good songs like how about the uh Shaka Khan Angel? Right. That's a good one. You know, me and Mike walked out for Angel. Right. Mm -hmm. the contest, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so uh we don't have to get into, you know, we don't have to fight over the music now. Uh talk about the music just for a minute or going at the set. Is it all oh, is it just one type of music at the set or what do you prefer do you prefer a mixture of music because it's like i rarely hear any jazz songs on the set no you don't not like we used to and i like jazz songs i like a mixture mm -hmm. tina did tina freeze yeah i think tina froze uh so she'll have to go out and come back in yeah, Tina looked like she froze. So let's uh let's get her and bring her back in. Let's bring her down and bring her back in. So so we're doing a whole lot of stuff, Val. Uh we're trying to uh uh actually just we're actually trying to add the real history of the dance into the present history. Uh, we're trying to add that back or at least to put in some balance because it's a lot of us that are still out here that want to go out and dance. But, you know, I've heard some women complain that they don't get a dance. And, that's that's and, true. They don't. And that the, that the music is always, you know, too fast and a whole bunch of things like that. But, but Val, when we went out to party, you know, uh, uh, it was a lot of it was a lot of uh, more mature people that was in there because you know Lonnie Lonnie Clark was in there, right? You know, and some of, some of the other guys that were there, uh, they, you know, we weren't just restricted to uh, uh, our age group, right? As a matter of fact, most of the people that I was coming out with, they, you know, they were older and they were playing the songs that was. Uh, that they liked and I th and I began to to like uh some of the older songs but if you're from Chicago you can't help but to start coming in or when you're going on the dance party scene to kind of favor some older music cuz we had Richard Pagee and Herb Kent exactly and Reggie all of the places that we used to frequent uh, it was older it was an older crowd everyone Enjoy. We enjoyed ourselves. We had a ball, and mm -hmm. we just danced. We danced to whatever was played, and we enjoyed ourselves. And I guess that was the music that we grew up on as well. That's good, Jackson Bob. I bet that's Andrea. So. Uh, some of the comments, any any questions that you have, you can always please put them in. And uh, we're getting, yeah. uh, <laughs> and then uh, Angela, she, she teasing me, talking about uh, no, no, a, you know, no N O A D M. Well, well yeah. So, to uh, Tina, so yes. let me, can let you me, hear me, yeah, I can okay, hear you. Well, I'm going to open the door okay. so you can just come in. Okay, uh, let me. Let me ask you, Tina, uh, 
Oh, well, wait a minute. Yeah, well, let me ask you. Is there, uh, let me ask about you too, Val. Mm -hmm. is there, you know, one, I heard one stepping lady say that, you know, we can have many dance partners, but there's always that, that one that's special. You know, like, because my special dance partner is like Janice Morris. You know, me and her, when we, we dance, we just dance. It, who was your special uh, dance partner that was, was it somebody early in the dance? Who was your special dance partner that you that you just had really had that kind of fun with? And you necessarily have to have no relationship or nothing like that. I used to dance with Tyrone Wallace all the time because I think, Reggie, when you were spinning down at Mr. Ricky's, we won um, – we won uh, the stepping contest. You know, Ricky's used to have the little small contest. Yeah, Tyrone time. Wallace and I, we won a uh, contest down there. And I used to I used to love dancing with him because he he could go. He could really go. Yeah, Tyrone. You know, I don't know whether you know him or not. The guy I used to dance with all the time that I love dancing with. His nickname was Snake, but his name now is Dr. William Jones. Mm -hmm. I know who he is. You know who he is? That was my dance partner, girl. He used to dance with Black Mary. Mm. Yes. At the old, at the old time set at mm -hmm. the old 69 Club, which is the Copper Box. Oh, yes. Yeah. He can go. Mm -hmm. He can dance. Like yeah. Leanna. Leanna's then, uh, dance partner was Stanley Brown. <laughs> you know, and then you get a whole lot of women that you just have that one special person that you like dancing with. You know, you don't have to be married to them or nothing like that. But it was just a thing that you you clicked with an individual, you know. And I, I, I think Andrea, I was at a breakfast, one of Willie Bell's breakfasts. And Andrea happened to say that, you know, well, you always have this one, one certain person that you connect with. So I want to, I'll be glad when she gets here so she can, you know, talk about to talk about that. She's coming. Uh, Daryl Davis, Daryl Davis is saying hello. Uh, Jeff Shine is saying, oh, Daryl saying, hey, y'all, he watching. And uh, uh, Jeffrey Shine is saying, what up, Val and Tina? And hey, listen, John, hey, Musketeer, hey, John Davis. Oh, there she is. There she is. There Andrea is. There's, there's another. Hey, Andrea. That's another. Hey, I thought you know he is going through all that traffic on the 4th of July weekend. Well, bless your heart. I, I'm going to hug you twice and then we're going to dance four times. For doing well, that's that. good. I'm glad. I'm glad you uh I'm glad you did this for me. And so I certainly appreciate, you know, you taking your time out. But it's really important. It's really important that you ladies share, you know, what y'all have done in, in this dance, because, you know, all of it is not, you know, all it, it's like different. And it's, it's like I see a few pockets of some ladies that can do the things that you all did. You know, like that little uh, young lady, Tabitha, she really trying to get down and, uh, you know, master other aspects of the dance, but everybody is just like into this step and step and step and step and step and step and thing. And it's not people uh, not really knowing how to walk. So Andrea, before we get deep into that, I want you to tell us, tell us about you and where you stand at in this dance. When did you start learning to dance in? Wow. A Who long, taught you? Uh, Who taught in you? a long time. Who taught you? Well, I used to watch my dad and my aunt and my mom. So I, I can't really remember like specifics or anything mm -hmm. like that. But mm -hmm. I know like 68, 69, you know, they used to have those parties. Your mother had those parties in the basement. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we did it at school. I went to uh, St. Killian on 87 and uh, Aberdeen. Mm -hmm. And we used to have... Uh, I used to have a Sunday party. It was like a red brick building, like set right now. We they used to have stuff every Sunday. So I know a lot of people from uh, Calumet and came over there. And then they used to have um, like fundraisers in our gym. So we danced there. I danced uh, roller skating at uh, St. Thaddeus. After you roller skated, you danced. So. A long time, basement parties, all that. So all the way back to like 68, 69. 
Andrea, did you go to Shit Ricks? Every Thursday. <laughs> Every Thursday. Didn't miss a Thursday and didn't know how I was getting home because I worked downtown. <laughs> so I would just take my clothes to work, stop there, and then um, didn't know how I was getting home. That's how I met Daryl Davis. The dancing bull. You said what? The dancing bull. Yes, yes, sir. And all of them, uh, Big George, who else used to be down at Calvin? Man, there was so many people. We was there every Calvin Bars. That's what I'm talking about. Every Thursday. We did not miss a Thursday until they said, no, it was, uh, they sold it to Mercy Hospital. So that's where we were on Thursdays. And after we left there, we would go to the 50. And then after that, to the other place. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So, well, I'm not gonna ask you who the DJ was. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't have to ask. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, man. That's yeah. really funny, sir. Uh, the jokes on who? <laughs> on, on on me. Uh, yeah. Tony Anthony says. These sisters are some of the best and the smoothest. Tell, and I, thank you, Brick. Thank I you. love you. Thank you. And I agree with that 1,000, 1,100 percent, maybe even more than that. Because uh, I love to see Val dance. We you know with Lester. I love to see Andrea me dance. Too. I got, I got some, I got some videos. Let me, but let me do this. Let me do this first one. Uh, Tina and Magic Mike. What kind of video? Uh, this is Tina uh, and Magic Mike. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, okay. this is when Tina and Magic. Contest. When you had on that yellow Tina. I think that's it. No, no, he had, what I had on. That I'm, yellow, that was cold blooded, Jack. Well, I know this is one of the first ones. Uh, this is one of the first ones that YouTube came up, you know, it, when it put it up. So let me let me share the screen and play it. And then Tina, because I want to. Cause I look at how Tina holds her head, holds her arms up. It's like this is like it's just, yeah, that's it's it. Professional. That's what you know. It is yeah, yeah. But it's but and, it's, it's, and, but it's and, but and you not, remember it's back in the day we always had our hair up here. We yeah. never looked on the we never looked down, we yeah. always looked up. Remember? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, Tina dancing with this guy, and she don't even have her hands on him. She got, you know, at some parts in the dance, oh, she's holding oh, yeah, her yeah. arms up. I say, oh, wow, this is, this is, this when I, when I this is all the way clapped. So let's let's get it right here. And you uh, can you hear me? You should be able to hear me. Yeah, this should be a I little loud. I don't know. You want me to be a little louder? No, I, I need maybe I need to turn mine up. Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, so let me okay, uh, right let me take this out and let me take that tone and let me take that out and let me go ahead on and make this the big screen, I think. All right, there you go. I told you what's that gown yellow. I remember that. Yes, yes, yes. Let me turn that music down. Though. I knew somebody had on yellow. Yep. So I'm gonna just turn it down so YouTube won't flag it. You know, talking about. Uh, but that's what love has joined together. What y'all dancing off of? Oh, okay. And yeah, see, so now right there, you know, people talking about you ain't supposed to be doing that. I'm married, you know. Who so told them that? No, I'm not saying people told him that, but you know, folks dancing like that, and that's that's Haywood, right? Mm hmm. And uh, what's her name, Angela? Yeah. Oh, that's Angela. I can't even tell. She got some on her head. Yeah, she's yeah, she gonna turn around. You gonna see? Her. I say that's okay. Angela. I see you. Yeah, look at her. I remember. I remember now. Yeah. I remember that. Mm -hmm. They look like they had the same stitching on their clothes. They know? did. Okay. Look at that. Three steps to the side. Oh, look at that. Mm. 
Yeah, see, you can hear that what love has and nobody take it apart. You can hear that part. Oh, oh that's good then. So then, then, then the doggone algorithms won't be able to pick it up too. Now, when you walk in, how long is the pause? Tabitha Hicks said, that's nice. <laughs> that's my baby. I that's, love her. That's our little baby. Yeah, <laughs> yes. She bad. She bad. She's a killer, boy. Brick say that's real walking there. Right, right. Hey, Wood. Original. Yeah. Hey, Wood was a good walker, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he still is. He, he ain't dead, is. but right. he don't come out that much no more. I yeah, hey, look at this. This is what tripped me out. Tina ain't holding him at all. <laughs> <laughs> Tina ain't holding him at all. Yeah. That babe always invented something. <laughs> oh, I mean, she just like like she floating, boy. She just yeah. I don't know, yeah. ain't touching nobody, and I just yeah. think that's cold. Yeah. As far as the but that's why you talk about uh creativity. Now mm -hmm. she just did that spontaneous. Didn't nobody teach her. She just did it. Right, right. Nothing, no practice, no none of that. That's just her. Yeah. Where you at, Tina? Well, where but at? Oh, he must get up. Oh, oh no, man. Tina should be there. Let me see if she. I don't see. Oh, hold on, my bad. Here she come. Let me put her there. There you is, Tina. I'm sorry. Yeah, we didn't see you. you. Know, it's the way Mike can hold me. The reason why I could be so loose. Uh -huh. Right, exactly. You know, he hold me a certain way, and I can do anything because I'm feeling his arms. Mm, mm. You know, nothing else. Do you know nothing else is lead me but his upper body? Yeah, uh, but that's uh. called balance. That's what the, right. I say. The more original people, that's that's the way they dance. The guys uh, guide you and they balance you. That's why you could do so many different things. They not. Holding you up, grasping you, holding you where you can't move and stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not a it's not a closeness where you can't move. It's right. you know, it's balance. It's a, uh, what, you know, they just lead in their upper body. Right. And then and Andrea said that's creativity from you. It's original. Uh -huh. It's nothing made up. You didn't practice. No. All right, let me just get, 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 get that thing out of here because before it started playing song, now <laughs> I've got to remove it. <laughs> you know, get it out. I'm getting fast. I'm getting faster and faster. You know, uh, we getting Tabitha. Let me put what Tabitha said. Look, Tabitha said, she said, I love y'all. So you're making an impact. You know, of course, Bill Perkins, he said, the real goats walking. Exactly. Bill Perkins is another great walker. Mm -hmm. You said who? Bill Perkins. William Perkins. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, Rita Hester, uh, I think she's one of our out-of-town people. She said that's good. And so one of the most, one of the things that, like, I'm in, I've been, like, I, like, drug, it would just drove me out of my mind is that my for one of my first sets that I came to, I didn't hear a walking song in four hours. And I think, and let me mention them, you know, Lawrence and Letha. I mean, that's that's their dance. And when Lawrence exactly. and when Lawrence and Letha come out, it's like they just they they sit in a party four or five hours to get two dances. Mm -hmm. And so I talked to Lawrence about that. Lawrence said he had been he been fighting. Oh, you know, asking the guys to play a walk record for like 23 years. <laughs> I said, oh, <laughs> he's telling the truth. And and I, I just I just could not believe it. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, what really happened. But, you know, and the DJs, they're like the villains in that because they need to they need to play that music. Folks, at the because I'm figuring. So I guess the DJs want to see 100 people on the floor all the time. Right. But when they play it, when you play a walk song, and if it's like two or three couples, that's gonna make some other people want to do the dance. 
you know, because if they just go ahead on and keep playing the music, but they want to keep this, they want to keep a hundred people on the floor all the time, knowing that don't do nothing but generate more heat. Play some walk songs so the stuff can get cooled off. <laughs> well, Reggie, the DJs, some of them don't know the walk music. They don't know what to play, and they may have a variety of walk songs, but if they don't know what to play, right, they, they should re play. research their music. Be before they get before they get ready to play. Mm -hmm. But that's what Trey Nicole said. She re she researched and Jamal too. They research everything that they're gonna play for that uh specific event. Well Baysmore got hey. it in his blood though. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yes, he does. His father yeah, was Afro. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Baysmore got it in his blood. But you know, uh uh, when I when when I played, you know, I always for every three I played, I was gonna drop two walkers. Exactly, at least. You know, I had to do that because uh, uh, the set within itself is dynamic. You know, and you can't necessarily guys can't necessarily talk to a woman if they throwing her back and forth across the floor. You know, they can make her dizzy. But I don't know if they she can really be talked to. <laughs> oh yeah, they turn and everything. Yeah, you know. So uh, it's good that we got we've got a chance to hear some real some ladies really talk about this dynamic. Now you all have been you know on the scene for years. Now how have you? What changes have you seen? in the dance you know, on the sets or on the scene that like make you say hmm don't be scared you ain't got to say nothing bad just <laughs> I, mean, I ain't scared but it's just a lot of a clone dance clone dancing okay everybody looks just alike it's like i don't know they i i guess that's the way they think that's the right way to go but once you learn the basics of anything, that's like going to school. When you do one plus one is equal two, you find other ways to get that same answer. You know, mm -hmm. so you you create something. Cause I, I'm in nursing, and what I learned at school, I got the basics, so I could add different stuff to it to make it easier for my job. And that's 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 the problem. Whatever. I just say the newer generations are taught. They do exactly the same thing all the time, every time since they um like came into you know the game. Mm -hmm. From they, the they do the same exact thing. Never. I mean, I have watched a lot of them, and it's like they dance the same twenty four hour twenty. I mean, every set you go to, if they they do the same thing. I'm not sure if they're looking for the count to continue yeah. to count as wow. they dance. I'm not. I'm. It, that could be it, but I'm. I'm not sure. And then it's like they they just have to do that because I have danced with them. They say, "Are oh, you supposed to do like this?" And I'm like, "Really?" And, wow. And a lot of times. Oops. That's that's amazing that any any gentleman would try to teach you. <laughs> I'm you like, said what? I missed that. I said that's amazing that any gentleman would try to instruct you, <laughs> one of y'all. Well, I, I didn't have a lot. Or either they just they won't dance with me, which I really don't care because that's that's on you. Because I don't care. I've been dancing for fifty something years, and I know. I don't know where I learned, where I wanted to learn at, but once I knew I was, you know, had the basics of doing it, follow my mm -hmm. dad and my aunt. I, mm -hmm. When I would go to the sets, I would sit and watch different people. Matt, uh, what's her name? Margie, Sandra Hurd, oh Cynthia God. Shanks, James Adam McClendon. Man, there was so many people, out, and I put that in my dance. That's why when people, it's like, oh, you're not doing eight steps. You're not doing it. You can't do what I do because this is what I created from what I learned. Mm -hmm. And then it's over 50 years. There's no way you could catch up with me. Mm -hmm. I could catch up with you, though. I mean, if you keep dancing, i follow you. Just, you know. You have to lead. And right. then you have to lead. You, 
when a man is supposed to lead, and they don't so have no lead. It's too if you're on a different tempo, you still gotta know how to lead. No matter who you dance with, you still have to lead that person into your dance. Mm. Yeah. And what you got to say, Tina? Well, all time. Hold on, go ahead. You know, I was just thinking about the walk. A lot of people, you know, people have told me you all off beat. Mm -hmm. And they don't know that I don't dance to that beat. I right. dance to a rhythm. Right. Mm -hmm. to the music. So, you know, right. I don't try and keep up with the beat of the drum. Right. Uh. I try and keep up with the rhythm of the music. Mm. And it goes right into the beat. Right. Mm. So that's Where, you know, list. people have told yeah, me, so well, you, you, you know, you dance you off the beat. I don't know what dancing off the beat means. But, you know, you have to slow it up when you walk it. Exactly. Yes, they try and dance on a beat to the drum when they're walking, and that's what makes them bounce. But that's the mm. way they because they're taking that step to the beat. Right. You hear that mm -hmm. drum? They taking that step to that beat. Mm. So they dance. They ride that rhythm. Exactly. They sway, sway to the left, sway to the right. Right. Reggie. Yeah. So that's where. That's the way they're taught now. Yeah. yeah, we weren't taught like that. We right. We go to classes. We learn by watching, and, and then you, and you you're following listening. whoever you dance. You're with. following the the rhythm of the music. Right, that's mm -hmm. your dance. That's your tempo to that. Right. So, and yeah. that's the difference in our dance. We dance to a rhythm. Okay. All of us do. You know, we dance to a rhythm. You know, and and and, and it's on, it's the right rhythm. You know, and and people are being taught on a beat because they're being taught with that count, and that exactly. count leads up to to that beat. You know, you right. step, you know, and that's why they're so robotic and so you mm -hmm. know, right. and everybody exactly. looks the same. And when a person is teaching them how to dance, you'll say, "Oh, I know who taught you how to dance." Mm -hmm. exactly. You know, when if we show somebody how to dance. They have to do the rest on their own. Once you learn the, the basic steps, you can do anything. Just keep mm. practicing. Uh, and you're going to have your own personal uh, identity with that. Yeah, they will. And nobody else's. So that's that's what uh that's what Lester Gibbs says. You know, he said, you know, what's missing in the dance is that dancers lack personality. Exactly. And, and Buford Friendly says that the dancers lacked like attitude so how do we get personality and attitude uh back to the dance so this is rita hester she says that's my hesitation and question about getting back out will gentlemen step and walk with the newbie they don't know and she may be a real stepper or will they only step with those that they know that they can dance with that they can step with but i heard that's what they um Teaching a lot of those classes is not to dance with the 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 older generation stuff. That's mm -hmm. the only way you're gonna learn. Cause I used to go to Alice. Alice and them had what I'm 20 years on me when I first met them. And I never tried to change nothing. I sat there and watched. I wanted to be just like them because the dance sets was a bad club. Yvonne Perrymore, all of them, they they was bad. And, they and I didn't try to change nothing. Mm. Nothing that they did, I want to get just like them and add my own stuff to it. Cause well, them, all those people could go. All those sets that those people that used to give sets, all of them could dance. Basically, all of them. And all the sets we went to, everybody could dance. If you didn't, you was a wildflower. One of the two. And Reggie, when we were when we went to the set, we danced with everyone. Wow. We had no hangups about oh. If we didn't know each other, we just dance. They come up and get us to dance because they knew we could dance. Right. But the new generation don't do that. Going back to Rita's question, yeah. they won't. They will not dance with you right. if you're a new person or a newbie. They won't. They <laughs> only dance with people that they know or that they have gone to class with. Right. Or they know that person has gone to Donnie's class or Tickman's class. Mm -hmm. That's the one we didn't thing. have. We didn't have those issues. We danced with everyone. Yeah, that's that's the one thing I like about 
Shanice's class is that when she calls and have us have uh, uh, people that have been dancing a little while longer than the newbies, you know, she'll have us come in so we can dance with them to get them out of looking to dance with uh, uh, their peers, so to speak. And it's a yeah. couple of ladies in their class. I know Pat Lacey, you know, if she seems she, when she sees me out on the street, she won't dance. She won't try to dance with uh, uh, nobody that's in her class or or new generation stuff. But she wants to dance with me. You know, with the with the older, with the more seasoned gentlemen, you know, right. so mm -hmm. a lot, a lot of the newer dances. Well, in Chicago, I don't know about other places around the country. Uh, they uh, they want to dance the older style. Now, when I was younger, now back in the day, you know, I would only, I would have to know I could dance with you before I dance with you. You know, I wasn't trying to. I mean, now in this second iteration of me being out there, now I'll dance with everybody, you know. But mm -hmm. when I first went out there, you know, because y'all was just as brutal on us uh, as we were on y'all, you know, because if you didn't know us, y'all wasn't going to dance with us. So if we thought, exactly, if you thought the cat was the truth, chump, if you thought yeah. he, was, if he wasn't no help cat or he was a chump, you know, he was. <laughs> Yeah, get out of here. Thank you. You wasn't going to get no dance, you know, because I had to dance with somebody else before I could get some good dances with some of y'all, you know, because y'all was heavy. And then some lady who gave me a sympathy dance. And then wow. we, we got down, you know, but then mm -hmm. after that, I didn't have it. And then six months later, well, how come you don't ask me to dance? Well, you turn me down, fool. I ain't gonna <laughs> <laughs> you turn me down. So and and then I got kind of like discriminatory, you know. Maddie B, she she called me out on that because it took me a long time to dance with Maddie B. Because you know I, I was just dance, I was just dancing with my crew. I go look, hello, you coming out to the set? All right, I'll meet you there. And then that was just it. And I was just gonna dance with that person, uh, you know, half of the well, night. We had, it was Reggie. It was so many of us to dance with. Yeah, when yeah, we used to go was. to the Road Runner. Yeah. You knew basically who was going to be at the road right. runner when we used to go down to Cotney pride yeah you knew mm -hmm. Lonnie clark was going to be down there marcia griffin you yeah. knew calvin barnes most of those guys you knew all of the clarence yeah the chipper you chipper, knew all yeah. those people and you knew all, all of them could dance you know all all you have a problem barbecue bobby yeah so, all the killers yeah <laughs> yeah Tyrone yeah, Wallace, Tyrone, all of them. Uh, Draper, he's yeah. no longer here. Yeah. Yeah. Fox, Donald yeah. Fox, VA. Yeah. You knew all those guys was going to be there to dance with. Yeah, the, oh. and and then uh, you know, like we're seeing the female phenom now as being one of the you know bigger brothers, but we had a history of bigger brothers. That, that yes, we did, and they all did. could they could all, all throw down. All yeah. of them. All they they yeah. Dimples, the females, it's just so many of them. Valerie Love, yeah. you know, we hung out well, with her in, in Vegas, Las Vegas. And she yeah. is a killer. And she's a killer. For real. Like, like Dimples and yeah. Leanna. They, it was so many women out there that could dance back then. It was so many of us. And, you know, we all fell right in together. We had a ball. You know, you couldn't wait to go. To go couldn't to wait the, the first Sunday to go yeah. to, the, to, to the set. Yeah. Yeah, old times, old copper time. box, copper box. Woo! You couldn't Maggie wait. Box. Man, then, the got, set. then it wasn't no stepping set. set. It was, it was the just set. a set. That's right. Yeah. Then, then Charlie Green would call that bus stop. Uh, and then, okay. And, yeah. And then, and then every other Saturday we would we we would go to uh to the set, that the, to the set that Valerie named. I mean the social club that Valerie named called competition. Yeah. 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 Mary O's, Elaine, yeah. Jack O's, yeah, yeah, Will, yes, every every other Saturday, yeah, couldn't waiting wait. for the wait, couldn't wait till the doors open, yeah. and all the killers was down there dancing. All of the people that could walk, we did everything. Kenny B, yeah. Alvia, Ernest L, all of those DJs, Ooh. they knew what to play. You yeah. knew, you knew you were gonna walk. You dance, they play like two or three stepping records, and then you walk. You was you walked all night yeah. at every set, Reggie. Man. So that's what you know, you don't see that as much. If you're not DJing, if Jamal is not DJing, you ain't gonna hear you're it. not gonna hear it. Who else? 
play. Uh, that's about, that's about it. Eric Taylor, E.T. Taylor. But you know what, you are. Everybody knew how to slow bop, too. You said what? Slow bop. Everybody knew how to slow bop, too. Oh, yeah, exactly. We bop, we bop and slow bop. Yeah. Oh, uh, we did all of that. So yeah. now, what do we have? We don't have that many DJs left because Melo Chris is sick. No, he ain't sick because he talked to Smooth T. Smooth T called me last night. Okay. They go beautiful right there. I can't talk to him. I know. Tell, yeah, tell, uh, tell to come. I talked to okay. Smooth T last night and Mellow Chris is okay. okay. And he said he's tired of these Negroes. Mm. With the <laughs> well, you know, I when I got I quit and I, I left for 26 years. Yeah. I do understand that. Mm -hmm. I, I do understand that. Uh I think I think one of the things that's uh uh that's really that's really a trip is that uh, many of the newer DJ guys, they come from the house music side and I'm not mad at them for doing how, you know, playing how they learned how to play. Cause you know, all they know how to do is mix, you know, mix the BPMs and make one song follow, follow the other like that. But when you come to the steppers, when you're coming in the steppers, you're supposed to throw that out the window because one of the Steve Breeze came from disco, Mellow Chris came from disco. You know, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, all of them after me came from disco, mm -hmm. you know, and I think, I think a lot of that ideology and the, the way they spin has, and you know, has put, uh, changed the way the dance is. And then a lot of them blamed it on the fact that it ain't enough men out here to dance with the women. So that's why they got to play up tempo music all the time. But now you're finding out that a lot of women want to walk now. Mm -hmm. And then, and then what really trips me out is when I see peaches walk. <laughs> 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 peaches, peaches, peaches got it seems like you got more game than some of these dudes <laughs> when they out here. Exactly. When, when and I think that's a shame. But she had that, she have she has that in her heart. That's the way that's what she wants to do. Mm -hmm. So I mean she steps and then she she'll walk. Exactly. Uh, uh Rachel. Uh, if if there's a question that they see in it and you think I missed it, you know, please send it to me in the chat uh, so I can ask that question. What's up? My, uh, what's up, Michael McDonald? And uh, let's see. Uh, oh, they see y'all on there. They calling y'all. They, they said the girls are in town. Joyce says she stopped too because she only got dancers. When she go out with her brother, <laughs> Steve and Lester. Oh, wow. And I got on tap. Now, check this out. I finally reached out, and I, I got in touch with the Alexander brothers. And I can't wait to get them on there. Clem and Steve. Oh, yeah. So I got I got them coming down the pipe. And the DJs, I got Willie Cox and Sam Chapman. But Yvonne Paramore, I'm going to put up a picture of the five ladies that's, like, really responsible for the social club scene. You know, uh, Black Mary, Yvonne, Sandra, uh, mm -hmm. Lula Taylor, and Kitty. I think I got a picture of them all together. And we're going to talk because all of you, especially, you know, uh, Andrea and Val, y'all mentioned y'all went to those sets, you know, that they gave. Now, what was really cool about the sets that, the, that those females, the old timers gave? What was something that was really cool that you remember about being in an old timer set? But for one, I probably was very young up in there. But <laughs> anyway, I just used to like to watch them dance. They could go. I'm telling you, that darn Yvonne Perry Mark, they just, it was just something to watch. You didn't, I, I, I danced, but I watched too. That's basically, I just want to see what everybody had on because everybody was clean as, woo! When I say them outfits, especially the dance sets, then they used to have, um, uh, what was that contest they used to have at um, dad? I can't think of the the Panama contest. Yeah. I used to go see all that. 
Wow. Now, yeah. you know, I'm, glad, I'm glad you mentioned that. I was talking to somebody about the great Panamanas, Casper, Sherman. Rose I was, Woodhouse. Yeah, the lady yeah. that did. Did she do Millie Jackson? Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's too catered to young crowd because they mm -hmm. really don't know the music like they should. Now that's what Brick said. Now I'm thinking and that he's telling the truth. They and I, I, I because think you know what? The only thing I'm like critical about is not that they can't play, they don't play the music. They just we used to frequent a set. Like we used to go to the set where you play every Thursday. week, every Thursday at Mr. Ricky. And it's not one time that I went to Mr. Ricky's that I would hear the same. 10 records again that next week. Mm. Now you might play them in between, but you're not going to let nobody know that that's in the same sequence. Uh. They play the stuff in the same sequence. They don't, it don't follow. You can't, you can't get five dead straight dances. You got to stand there and say, oh, let me see what this record going to be. Really? You're supposed to dance consecutively if that's what you want to do. Get mm. your row out. That's what we used to call it. Mm-hmm. Get your rug. You cannot do that now because you got to stand there for a few minutes and be like, hey, what is that? Oh, that's such and such because they didn't mix it at the beginning or whatever. It's no flow to them to what they play. And, remember, and that's that's the part I don't like. And remember, Reggie, when we used to come to your set, we did we danced to it's almost Most time to go. To, to your time feet to burn go. up. We yeah. didn't want to leave yeah. because yeah. the music kept you wanting to dance. Like Slick Rick, it's not well, like that. It's Slick not like well, that now. Out. He Slick Rick played at, at the, the entrance Tuesday. Tuesday for Trey Nicole's birthday off the chain. He and he, th he put some new ones in there, but the way he played that stuff, you didn't even care if he played new stuff. Right. He right. had it all flowing. It went one after the other after the other. Yeah. I'm he telling did. you, he when did, we right left you. out of there. And it wasn't even that many people there to dance with, but you could sit in your chair and sing sometimes. Right. Yes. Okay. That's what we used That's to do. Too. Even if you don't dance, Reggie, you want to enjoy the music. Right. right. And a lot of times you can't enjoy it because it's you don't know what it is. You don't you know like, what it is. I think Slick Rick can spin so well as he can dance good. Yes. Right. Yes. Exactly. So yes. he know the music. Yes. But he didn't. He didn't messed up before, though. He's messed up before, but he played. He played good. He played start Tuesday. He was on, he was on point. Yeah, all the way. Reggie, I was sitting there eating my catfish, just shaking my head. Yeah. I didn't even dance, but I was enjoying the music. Saying, "Dang, there was no. nobody really to dance with." Right. Man, you don't I'm have good. to be like they say. Oh, oh, that's old, or that's this. It's not about old. It's about. Is this can you step to it or whatever they call it? You can you dance to it? That's he, what I'm saying. He mixed it up. That, that stepping, stepping is like, I don't know, like a brainwash to me. That's a brainwash word. It's like, can you dance? Mm. Like George Macaroni, God rest his soul. He told me we start coming back out. He said he went and asked the late tomorrow, can I, you know, can I have a dance? And she's like, oh, I step. He was like, oh, really? <laughs> they didn't know what that was. He said, what is step? He said, what is that? Right. Yeah. And you know Macaroni George could go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. One of the greatest. Yes, baby. One of, one of the greatest. And then, Not like Brick said, they don't know. They cater to the younger crowd because they really don't know the music like they should. And, 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 and that's what tripped me out, right? And, I mean, and the younger crowd that they're catering to, and they're believing that they that this younger crowd is going to sustain the stepping into the future. But when not we exactly. learn, well, not exactly, because when we learn, we all learn when we were like single digit kids, right? right. And you could carry it on and on and that's on right. and on. Now they got to stop. Well. Oh, we're not doing that. We never changed with our mother father. Then we did it to newer music, but it never changed. Cause that's, that's right. just like uh dancing with the stars. When they on there, uh, I can't think of that whatever that judge name. He's real hard. He's from London, England, Simon. or whatever. Simon. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> yep, he's from London, England, and he said he don't care what music you play it to, you got to do the walks. Right. Right, right. Okay. And I don't care what they do, you got to do what we did in Chicago. And what they're teaching them, they're teaching them 
what they their aspect of what it is and then putting Chicago in front of it to make a dollars, which I'm not knocking that. But that's not Chicago. That's not what we do. That's not how we dance. This dance is traditional. I did well, all the way from back in the 60s. I'm still doing the same thing. I could do it to the newer music, but it don't have no touch. It don't touch my soul. Right. At all. And dancing is from your heart, from your soul. That's what it's from. It's not somebody teach me to do one, two, three, march, one, two, three, march. If you ain't got no feeling with it, that's exactly what it is. One, two, three, march, one, two, three, march. Really? That's not dance. And period. Really, we do what? not have a lot of instructors as far as walking. We have Daryl Davis. We have Tina Wilson. There aren't that many of, and Buford. We yeah. put Buford family in. Uh -huh. There aren't that many people that can teach walking. I'm talking about original walking. Well, I'm, I'm getting ready to play. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to play this 50 yard line video. Well, like, that's my favorite. You're going to play what? It's a video from the 50 yard line. I'm going to oh. play this video from the 50 yard line because I love people out there that can really teach walking the original style. Right. So I think people that want to learn how to do that need to go to set and stand there and look. And, and experiment with people that know what they're doing. That's the best way. Watching, not nobody telling you, uh, turn this way, turn that way. Nah, that's to me. Watch. That's the way I learn. Well, well, you all of us here are in the watch and learn generation. <laughs> I'm, I'm a watcher. Right, and but you know what? When what? even when they do dancing on the stars, they have to watch what they're doing in exactly. order to do it. They, they never watch. say that you gotta count and you right. gotta do. You know, right. this is the and step Tina. you take. You gotta watch. That's the only thing. That's right. the only way you are gonna learn how to do right. it. And Tina, when they what? get ready to perform a week before that, one of them professionals comes in there. They don't tell them one, two, three. They tell them exactly what you said. Watch W A T C H, and that's you hear that all the time. Now watch what watch. I'm doing, and that's how I taught my two nieces how to dance. Right. Watch what I'm doing. Just right. watch exactly. what I'm doing. I that's never taught them to a count and, and watch. Yeah. yeah, just watch me. And that's what Tabitha is doing. She's watching Tina. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and she and she asking questions too. I think exactly that, one thing. Yeah, exactly. I think I I thought I thought one of the one, I, you know it made me smile when I saw and I teased her. She was she was dancing with Lester, you know. Uh huh. And I and I let people know, you know, ain't nobody gonna be able to you know dance with Lester like he dances with Val. Because Lester can step across Val and he can switch her in and out the corner. Next, he go in one way and Val is coming out the, the next way. And that's the prettiest stuff I've ever seen. It is. And that he's so creative. And Lester, Lester has been doing that for the 45 years I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Sure you exactly. know, exactly. Lester, Lester can be on the floor in the floor and he dancing and it's like he driving a car in a in on the on a uh during rush hour. If he <laughs> sees a little gap, he he switches over into the next lane. The next thing you know, he done switch. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta learn how to move. You gotta learn how to move nobody. in and out. In and out. What? Yep, yeah. and he ain't yeah. gonna run into nobody. Nobody. Right. He don't want nobody. nobody, none of that. And squares the corners perfectly every time I see this boy dance. I said, "Look at this boy!" I, and I don't even try to do it. I just love it. as long as he's doing it. I, I that's why he got that name from me. One Lester Gibbs. Every time he would come in, <laughs> every time he would come in a place. As soon as I see him at Vail, one Lester Gibbs, and I'd call him out. And next thing you know, I'm dropping some Smokey because I know that's what both of them like. Yes, Smokey. You know, mm -hmm. and yes. I, and see, one of the, that's one of the things that DJs miss. They like they like so into what, well, not all of them, but some of them so into the technology of what they doing, they forget about all you got to do is just pay, play what people oh, yeah. like, <laughs> you know, play the songs that they like, and then mix what you want to do with the songs, and it's going to work out. I'm getting, re I'm getting these videos and we're going to talk about some of the movement. Are we going to talk? 
Oh, so we're we going to talk about some of the movies. Let me pull this thing over here so I can make it easier for me to find stuff. I wish uh, you would hurry up. All right, I'm going to hurry up. <laughs> 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 I'm on. I'm on. I'm just, you know, I'm gonna hurry up, but you know, but just I tell you what, what I you, love Andrea. Did I, I tell you what? Did you ever go uh, dancing at uh, Circle Campus? Yep. Central Y. Then go Central Y. I went to Circle Loyola and then to yes. the uh, then to the hotel parties. Yeah, that, Pop, that, the, what is what? Is it at Barnett the House. Yeah. The uh, yeah. the Holiday Inn. All the hotel Only parties, yeah. all the hotel parties that Barnett went, Barnett did, I spun, and then when Phil Johnson started coming into the step in the ring, right. I started doing Power, all. Yeah, all the Park West. Yeah, what about the Silver Shadow? Yeah, Barnett. You talking yeah. about the Fifth Street? Yes, I, yes, yes. I went to the Silver Shadow. Yes, yes. That's Before I was that, doing. it was called the Checkmate, right? Look, I, I I did the Rat Pack Wednesday, Ricky's Thursday, and then his play when he bought the Silver Shadow. I did yeah, that. Yeah, the Silver Shadow, right there by the L. That, that guy used to be always the train. Act. Every uh, by that was William. By that was the first yeah. uh, promoter. The promoter. He was. had all the. He had he had uh, all the stuff locked up. All the sets. Yeah, the copper had, box, everything. They had Robert's Five Hundred too. Yeah. The bull and bear, right? Reggie. Yeah, listen, and I'm trying to get Barnett, but Barnett, I got Barnett is gonna have to talk to me on the phone. If I could just get him to slow down for five minutes, mm -hmm. you know, we'll we'll be able to do that, you know. Because but but not, most people don't know that Barnett was the big guy out here. Yes, he baby, was. he was a big a big one into the star. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he. he, was. he he was the big guy, you know. Even Sam spun for Barnett, mm -hmm. and, then, and, and then of Abby. course, and then remember uh, Abby, right? And then of course Luther came out, right? Yeah. You know, right. Luther. And Luther. then did you ever go to Ernie's? They used to be over there, on, uh, yeah, on Chicago. Yes, Ernie's. Ernie's used to be killing on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah. I went to when when Gregory Richardson and them started doing their stuff at Carl Satin Dow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Then enter, enter. Yeah. Then you know I I That's did that. Richard okay. Cheated us all out where he didn't have our money. Me and James won that dance contest. He didn't have our money. Mm -hmm. So I get right. next week. All right, let me let me go ahead on it. Let me go ahead on to play this, and so I can so this woman so she can stop fussing. She likes to fuss. <laughs> well, I do. That's, um, I'm sorry. I'm gonna <laughs> let her, but I want I want I want her to fuss when she see this. All right, I want you to fuss. Uh, uh, I, I, I want you to fuss off of this. That's what I want. Uh, <laughs> uh, <yeah>. Really? <laughs> I want you to fuss off of this. So this is a one time, you know, this was one of those moments, you know, at this set. Come on. Now. There you go. Good. And let me share this screen and get this going. Y'all know I can't do this stuff as fast as I want to do it. You know. All right. Let me. I can't do it as fast as I want to do it because I ain't as smart as. There you go. So let me pull this. Oh, there you go. Now. And let me share this. And. All right, hold on. Tina, where you at at home? Yeah. Uh, are you going to the 50? I was thinking about it. Are you all going? I'm going to go because this is the holiday weekend. And I was all going right. all last week because y'all wasn't here. <laughs> she missed uh, really? Us. She missed us, Tina. I don't know if I missed y'all, huh. but I didn't do nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I might just come up there tonight myself. Yeah, that's, okay, that'd be good. I'm gonna ask the wife, can I come out? Cause, uh, yeah. yeah, ask Felicia if you can come. Yeah, because ET said that's a grown folks party. All right, so oh, let's. What's that? All right, well, Ooh, that's me and Chipper. Oh, <laughs> I gotta stop taking people's pictures, and they don't know you taking it. I'm gonna go put my <laughs> blind down too. I'm gonna yes. go put my blonde hair on in and a few minutes. Yes, yeah. 
well, tell him to get out the way. I so think I you were, I, Tina, I think you were there too. Yep, she yeah. Told, I yeah, think look at Tina, man. I think <laughs> she told me. So that Lester. Now, now here's one. What new, Lester? Huh? That ain't Lester. That's, down there, uh, that's Andre Blackwell right there. Yeah, 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 Lester, in front of, Lester's in, in front of. Yeah. We in front of Andrea. Yeah. yeah. And and then you know uh, Andre Blackwell, new generation, new generation. And he's doing his walking. You know, he's doing yeah, his taking them wide, long steps, <laughs> walking side to side. Yeah, that's that's the Blackwell walk. So that's yeah. Cool. He told me that's what he liked to do. I was like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> but you're not walking. How about that? You can Brothers call what you want. Brothers Rooks going to always walk. Huh? Brothers, one of the brothers rugs. The oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Jerry, Jerry. Uh, now who took this picture? I, really I don't know, know but I, I, Tina and Charlie was there. That was somebody's birthday or something. I we was at. Oh, they go that man that danced by himself. <laughs> 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 I know he so missed universal clothes down. <laughs> I'm be quiet. I might be somebody's father or something. What? I don't know. I ain't know you. Did you take those pictures, Ratch? I probably did. Oh, okay. I probably did. I when I, I started walking, I said, "Oh God, let me get. I got to. I got to get this one more." Cause uh, that ain't even really show that much, but right, yeah. I couldn't really see but nothing. If people you ever see seen me walk with eyes but Pat, they know. Okay. Yes. God rest his uh, soul, baby. He could walk too. Yes, he could walk and, and dance. dance. He dance. could dance. Period. Yeah, dance, dance. Period. Coolest Joker out. All right, here you go. Let me open this. Let me open this one and bring this one up. All right, let's get this down right here. Yeah, the screen. I'll stop sharing that screen, and then I'm gonna pull this over here and share this because Val, 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 Val oh. in this one. This is this is. Yeah. This is left than Val. Yeah, well, not fully, but this is at the fifty yard line. If you can walk in the fifty yard line, you're welcome. Okay, because yeah, that's the that's the smallest oh, floor in the I'm world. Room, I could change everything next time. Let's see. Uh, here you go. Oh, oh. I just wish that. I could have found those shoes. Found some All right, here we go. And share Let the screen. Red. Your phone is over here. Phone All right, here we go. Here. Let's let's get you going. Let me turn this down. And this is paradise. All Man. right, you're gonna see a bunch of people. Yep, they go Earl and Brenda. So less than Val, less than Val is getting ready to come around the corner. They see that less yep, than they are right, right there. I see it because I got on the white mm -hmm. blouse. Right. And then you go, then you're gonna see Dee Dee sneak through there. Richard mm -hmm. gonna do his little quick carousel. Lester is steady looking out to find out uh if what he got corner he can hit. Yeah, yeah. And here come Dee Dee and Jackie. I see Jackie and Dee. Dee. Yeah. <laughs> well, here comes Lester. He's looking now. He's gonna switch and bring Val so he can take her. You know, so take he can get. So he can go around. Yeah, yep. yeah. That's what. Hey. That's what it is. Lock her in. I'm finna go around. <laughs> Handkerchief in the hand. You know. You coming to the front. Who is your boy talking to? I was there you go. Now you see he's looking because Lester oh, getting, Lester getting right. ready to square this corner and I stop it. But when you see this move, watch his feet. He go, he gonna be on one side. He's gonna shoot Valerie to the other side. There it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the DJ played something else. So yeah, they're gonna die. All right, so you ladies, I know y'all want to get ready to do what y'all got to do. How long what time was it? Okay, good. What we doing pretty good. So y'all give us some advice. Give the sisters some advice. I don't have any. <laughs> you got to be. You, you can't. Nope. All I can say is look 
watch w a t c h because can't can't nobody really teach you um how to walk it has to be the guy and that's who you following so if he got a good lead you should be able to walk with him mm. nobody shouldn't have to teach you you should be able to walk with that person you should be able to follow his lead and right. then you have to develop your own style yeah as far as walking you you know you can walk and you can you know you're following his lead and, and you, you have, have to, to watch people and then develop your own steps and style of walking reggie mm -hmm. so it doesn't yeah. matter who you walking with like tina has her own style i have my style andrea has a style so you have to develop just like a man he has to develop his style you can go to a class right and then go but through he, all the emotions but the guy is the key right. that is the key he's, in walking he's he leading. is the key he's the leader because mm. mm. i know on um, your show what was that monday so uh i don't know where that guy was from but i think he said he lived here but he moved to out of town or whatever and he was saying something about um chick had some good hands or it's not no hands it's a lead you have to are uh, you talking about Kim Boy? No, it wasn't Kim. Did not say that. It was the other okay. guy from I think he's from California somewhere or Las Vegas or something. Because he said you asked him something about teaching, uh, instructing or something, and he said, "Well, how he knows if his uh, uh, dang. oh, it was Kim Boy Bill, Kim Boy Bill, and uh, Tony. Maybe at one month, I don't know what day it was, but he said." He instructs, he's been instru instructed for 18 years. And he's and, and when he fake, yeah, right? yeah, when he instructs and when he see his uh I guess students or whatever, he know they got it when they could come back and teach him. I never heard of such nonsense in my life, but that that one got to go. Boy, that's why I love you, Andrea. I'm yeah. gonna hug you when I you know I'm gonna tell the truth. That right. one got to go right there. Sorry. <laughs> Well, if there's someone that I'm going to recommend to anybody, you know, one of the new people that's dancing, you know, I will, I will recommend uh, Shawnee's and uh, Tina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I will, I will now, recommend. Make some old souls, cause like Shawnee's mother danced, and she was out here. You see, well, you don't come to our party, but her auntie, all those people was there, and that's what she saw. And so, like, you know, somebody, that. somebody asked me, they said, they said, well, yeah, well, why you interview Shanice? I said, her uncle was Mario Brown. Stupid. Thank right. you. Right. Mario <laughs> Brown, baby. And I danced Ooh. with him too. Stanley Brown. Him, Mario Ooh. Brown was a killer. Yeah. Man, y'all, everybody think Maji was the first screamer. Yeah, she wasn't no screaming. That no, was Mario, Mario, Mario used to go dance with him up at Click one time. I was like, hell that no. boy, that boy, that yeah. boy would scream. Yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly. for real. Yes, he him could. and don't leave out Don Vic screaming. And and then Mario would do the scream, and then next thing you know, he done kicked his leg over your yeah, head. Right. <laughs> that, was like, oh, yeah. 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 that was a cold boy. Yeah. Yes, he was. And Don Vic, like she said, he screamed too now. Yep, you put he, on that right song. He, he put on that right song. Uh, one of those whispers, or mm. uh, uh, Bill Anthony and, and the Imperials. One of their songs. Wow, he like that that new that uh that new Jay OJ's. Jay's, uh, uh, he like he like the OJ's. Uh, the OJ's again. What's that girl's name? What's her name? Oh, he like Tony Braxton. He like that song. Nancy that, Wilson, he like nah, that, stuff. that one that Ken Beffer had down there at that Al Hamble. You well, talking about was it Michonne Young? No, nah, oh. it wasn't her. It's somebody else. But he something. Her he last was. her last name is Moore. Shante Moore. Moore. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, Shantae Moore. Yeah, yeah. He likes that la 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 by uh New At Anthony. The end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, he does. And that was Donald Fox song too. And don't nobody play that stuff. No, Ooh, really. no, 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 no,
because the, the younger generation and I, they all can right. dance off those songs. And if they don't play it, then they don't know it. Mm -hmm. They won't know. Like Tavares got a lot of stuff. Yep. Shy Lights have a lot, a lot of stuff. stuff. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. In a, in a city blues. Lord, let me be the yeah, man. Don't even take go. a trip Triple to the island. island by the Shy Lights. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a killer. Yeah. It's so much. It's uh, like I said, Reggie. There aren't that many DJs left, like you, Melo Chris. Ooh, they, yes. It ain't no one. And Jamal, Jamal. Where are they? That's yeah. it. Yeah, because the because the rest of the cats is they they matching. They BP strictly play. new school. Now yeah. Cross, no. Cross Cross is good too. Yeah, now Cross will play. Yeah, he'll play. He'll and, play. And, and DJ Calvin will too. He will. DJ Calvin. If he know who in the house, he gonna he gonna he gonna go in the crate and get some. Yes, now see, will. and and that's the thing. You you can still do your new school or whatever you're doing. Exactly. You right. you call yourself, but you gotta put your head up and to see who's in the place. Right. If you read your crowd, we ain't asking for a whole lot. You yeah. recognize us when you play our music. That's right. what they don't get. Because if they if they didn't, if it wasn't for you guys, then it wouldn't have been no them. They wouldn't have no new people to, to play to. Because why did they even come learn how to do it if you wanted to change it? That's what I don't get. Why would you yeah. come learn something and then try to change it? One Cause, of the things, cause you can't do because you're not doing it correctly. One right. of the things that where they caught up at is that you know they came from that house side, you know, right. playing, playing right. that. But Reggie, when we were in Las Vegas, Lady V, Vivian Perkins, oh, she told the house down. Chicago ruled in Vegas mm -hmm. last weekend. See, she it was a DJ too. She know how to play the walk records. All of, she know how to play the stuff we like, Reggie. She does. I wish she would. I wish they would move here to Chicago, back to Chicago. Yeah. One of the only DJs in Val. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you upside the head with this. One of the only DJs, the one of the first DJs that came from house, that really got into it and mastered it, and he let the house and the DJ that that blending alone was Andre Scorpio. Oh, oh yeah! Ooh, that. I, I forgot oh, about Lord. him, and I forgot about Smooth T too. I forgot about him too. You know, Scorpio. Oh, you right, that and oh, Andre Scorpio. Andre Scorpio used to light up Thursday when your butt left. Oh, he took over Royal. He took over very good. He I'm did, and you know what? Luther was so scared that he was gonna take the crowd away from him. That's why he wouldn't let him spin at the East of the Rhine. Yeah. That's right. Because he know when Andre would fill in for him. Andre had that house. Yeah. And y'all forget about Larry Joe. Larry Joe. And, um, yes. What's the other hey, DJ. Boy, um, Dang, what's the other boy to play on the West Side? He be out. He come up to Shawnee. Dang, I can't think his name right now. He could spin too. He come, up, he come to Shawnee's class. He be out all the time. Yeah. Oh my God. What's that? Like, Snooky? Something. I can't think his name right now. I'm you mad. Know. If you if he watching, I'm sorry because I can't think of your name right now. But he could play too. He used to play at the uh not the road, the 939. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait to go there with they uh Denny Den and Flow. Then we danced the flow sideways. So yeah, Reggie, we could, you know, we told the house down with you on Thursday. You and Scorpio? Yeah, that was the play. And you know, when I see you, you know what I like to you know what I want you to play with. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know, and that's one thing. And they about, loved, they and loved you down there because they that house was full every Thursday. We well, you know, line around the corner to get in there, pay three dollars, get your drink ticket. But um, but see, like Melo Chris, when he used to see Oz or uh, me, he would go straight to what that song, them songs that he liked, and he would play. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. You yeah. know, and we got that from Sam. Yeah, Sam do it too. Cause yeah. Sam, Sam, as soon as you walk in the door, Sam gonna call your name and name, then right, exactly. Ten or fifteen minutes later, he gonna play your song. Right, and, right. Exactly. And that's why people keep coming to Sam and they keep going back to where he's been, you know, because that's yeah, that's what he does. <laughs> y'all don't be scheming. I see y'all. I ain't reading y'all list. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> What he you say he really not live? I see. Right, 
Oh, you, good. Yeah, you read Valerie's lips. I, it wasn't me. Uh, I didn't say <laughs> shit. <laughs> Ooh, I don't to say, well, I ain't say, they go Jeff. How about Johnny Flo? Oh, yes, 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 Jeff, yes, Jeff, we Jeff. About, sorry, Ooh. Jeffrey. Yep. Chad, we, we, we forgot about Johnny we Flo. Haven't, he, we haven't seen your moments, okay? Yeah. I forget it's it. Oh, my God. Johnny yeah. Flo off the freaking chain. Yes. 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 yes well, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm Reggie, glad. Will you, Reggie, you probably need to start up again. And we have to plug. Yeah. You got to get out there yeah. and plug. Yeah. You got to do it on your conversations, yeah. wherever. But you got to you got to get out there like Rose, like Rose Wellington. And I'm she a, go and, everywhere. And I'm a well sign. It's like, thank you for your support. <laughs> hey, Rose, if you listening to <laughs> thank yeah. you for your support. Thank you for your support. You got to do like Rose. Yeah, Rose, she... Uh, they travels, Rose and, and Gary. Yeah, what they yeah. Oh, okay. Rose, she uh she came and sat with me at Shanice's and she put some bugs in my ear after mm -hmm. uh after everybody was leaving. Rose went back over to the 50 to Eric and started pulling people, start telling them, Well, Reggie Miles over at Shanice's. <laughs> that's why I do that. Yeah, it, it, it was about 10 to 20 people that came over there. Now, Tina, I've all, uh, you stepped out, but I've already recommended. If I was going to recommend somebody to teach this dance, I, you know, you were one of them. You and Shawnee are at the top of my list for walking. Thank you. And the one, of the, and one of the beautiful things that I like about, you know, your class, I've been to your class, is that you tell the ladies that they got to bring, you know, two pairs of shoes. <laughs> you know, you bring your, you bring your regular shoes. Uh, you're going to teach them the dance in some high heels. So what's up with that? Well, I think that, you know, uh, the way you point your feet when you're walking, you know, it makes it easier when you have a little heel on. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it you, when you lift it a little bit, it makes it easier to walk instead of walking flat-footed. Mm -hmm. You know, because... Uh, um, when you're walking flat footed, you cannot dance the same way. You got to go from heel to toe, toe to heel, you know. And it's easier in heels to do that. And they'll find it's easier. When you put on heels, it's easier to walk. I'm not trying to say a five inch heel or a four inch heel, but if you just put on a little small heel, it's much easier to dance. Mm -hmm. It's like you're on the ball of your foot, huh? Right. You, you you on the ball of your foot and you don't have to you know when you when you in a flat shoe sometimes you have to get on your tippy toes in order to turn or something mm -hmm. you know I, and you don't have to do all that if you're in a heel so are you exactly. going to are you going to start what you say andrea i said exactly especially for how much i'll be paying for my shoes <laughs> are you going to uh start a class a class soon or is your class coming back on when do you plan on coming back out doing what you do well i haven't set up a class yet but when i do i'm gonna come back on your show and let everybody know okay okay that sounds good and i do want to give a shout out to vivian she did she made um when we were in vegas she was mm -hmm. a DJ for the party, and she really turned it out. Yes, I don't know if did. she's online, she but did. thank you, Vivian, and thank you, Bill Perkins. Yes, mm -hmm. she did. He put it together, and she made it work. Mm -hmm. Yes. She always do. Yes. Yeah. So... That is there something you'd like to leave us with? Uh, something that you might have thought I forgot to ask you? that you want to come up with and say it right now? Were you talking to me? I'm talking to, to all of us. Yeah, oh. I'm talking to all of y'all with that same question, yeah. We just need, we need more of, um, we need more walking music out there, Reggie. We do. For us and for the people that, want, want, to that want to learn our dance as far as slow bopping and walking. We need more of uh, DJs, and we somebody need to probably start giving a set so we can showcase right exactly. all of our, uh, our showmanship 
to the younger generation. So they will see the real get down or uh, high steppers or whatever you want to call us. They need to see the original dance. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. You know, but there's a lot of variations and yeah. you got a lot of instructors teaching all these different variations. And all I'm saying is if you're going to teach walking, you should know how to slow bop and walk and bop, and you should know the original style yeah. mm. of walking. And so far, the only uh, the only people that can do that is Tina mm. and who else who? that can teach the walking? Tina, Buford, right? Them, Daryl, so, Daryl, Daryl can teach walking, right? Daryl, those are the three people. Because you need you need a lady that understands and know the dance as well. Right, I'm the sister. <laughs> <laughs> and Andrea, I'm and me, the, we, we would be we, Tina's assistant. We are assistants. Yes. yes. So Tina and Daryl and Buford. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because I asked Lester. Lester said, "That's my style, Reggie. <laughs> He's <laughs> my style, man." Oh, happy anniversary. Oh. So. Uh, I know. Yeah, and like they say, Daryl said they don't know. Well, if you don't know, you need to ask somebody. And look at Daryl when he used to give all these lessons for free. Yeah, when he free. used to give his Didn't set. charge nothing. For he used 10 to give years. that set 10 and years. the three Gs. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I know. And there's a lot of people that give credit to that dance to Daryl. You know, Tick did it. And it's a yeah. lot of them that don't, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They cross right over and this is the way you do it like me. Well, you that's, know, to me, I, that's the new, the new thing. Do it like me. Can't explain yeah. nothing why it's like that or nothing. Just but where it came just, from, where it came from, where it came just, from. Just do it like me. Well, Cindy and JR, Tina's going to start up soon, so don't worry. Who was that? Cindy, Cindy and JR. They Where waiting for their stepping classes to uh, they're walking lessons. <laughs> and, and so Bill Bill Perkins Bill Perkins has reached out to the family. He says, Thank you, Tina and Valerie. I enjoyed playing for all of you. Oh, as a matter of fact, that's Vivian. We yeah, that's Vivian. on uh we on Bill's uh page. So I see it. Tell her she left my name out. Cause she played for me the last time when she came here to uh what was that Buford's party on the right. west side. She sure did. So don't she be leaving me did. out, Vivian. <laughs> we'll leave her out, Vivian. That's right. I just couldn't make it. She said they'll see us next month. I'm looking for you guys in a place in Batson so you can move here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we are synergy steppers. You That's said right. what? Exactly. And right. the Billarettes. Yes. <laughs> and, and Reggie, we are the Billarettes. Yes. <laughs> you know, Jeff Shine just uh, complimented Look you that. all. Y'all keep, keep it 100. You right, right, Jeff. You know, you know I am. Because Jeff, <laughs> you don't know I am. I'm telling like it was, it is, and it's going to be. You and James Shanks. Yeah. Slow bop. Yeah, yeah Davis. Slow bop. bop. Yes. You're not a good instructor unless you know how to bop, slow bop, and walk. But and that's what I mean by dancing with different people. You got to adjust to whatever they do. Adjust. That's what yeah, you got to exactly. do. And then. That's what the women have to note. do. They have to follow. Right. right. And this is the note I have to say. Because you can dance. Because you won a contest or whatever does not mean you can instruct. That means That's you right. can dance. That means you can dance. And one other thing, somebody made uh, a comment about uh, you is no qualifications to step in. And something I can't, I can't, uh, dang, I wish I could remember what that person said. But somebody, there's no qualifications for stepping. And there's no dang. Where's my phone at? I wish I could remember, but it is, it might not be. But it's qualifications to me. This is to me. This is my opinion. When you uh, learn something from that was originated somewhere else, and you take it 
and and talk about that's that's what you want that that's what you learned from Chicago. No, you didn't. No, <laughs> you did not. We don't dance like that. I don't care if if you learn how to dance fifty years ago and start um, twirling around. We never twirled around. This is a traditional dance we did in the basement, on the sidewalk, everywhere. It's a tradition for Chicago, and I don't like it when you you can hustle all you want to, but you're taking something from Chicago and putting out put put your own name in front of uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Put your own name in front of it. I don't got no problem. But that stuff that they doing now, that is not Chicago. I'm sorry. Not Chicago. And, nope. and then Reggie then you should give homage to your elders. Right. All of these people that was here dancing before us, all of our grandmothers from the Lindy Hop, all mm -hmm. of that, all of that where it originated right. from. Because I sent there on a, a, a video that was on Facebook and the same stuff they was they doing in freestyle, this man was doing it back in 1930s. He was doing the same thing. <laughs> so, Reggie, so yeah. yeah. There's nothing the origination, the original yeah. style, Chicago style walking, bopping, slow bopping, right, and walking, right. And I those are the original style, right. And I go to my grave. That stuff they doing now ain't got shit to do with Chicago. You know, sorry, it's not. We listening. I just happened to. I was talking on the phone this morning. I said, you know, when you're talking about this dance, you know, there's only three categories. You either a bopper, right. stepper, or a walker. Everybody fits. Right. In that. If you call yourself, well, I'm new school, you a stepper. <laughs> if you call yourself, well, I'm just walking, you got your own category. But here's the, here's the click. If you call yourself a bopper, you're supposed to know how to step, slow bop, and walk. Right. And if, just because, like she, Andrea said, just because you won the contest, that does not mean that you are a good instructor. Because you know? mm. everybody cannot teach. They can dance, but that does not mean that they can teach. They got people in, in school. In Chicago public schools, they went to school, got a degree, all that. That don't mean you could teach nobody. That means you went to school. Right. And that's the same thing with the instruction. That means you went to learn that, but that don't mean that, I mean, you, le you learned how to do it, but that don't mean you could give it to somebody else. You are giving them what you do. You're not giving them what your instructor gave you. Nope. Sorry. And then you got what? You got Tina Wilson. You got Dimples. Look at all these great dancers that we have. Sandra Heard. Yeah. It's so many of them. The Fox sets. These people can lead and do everything and walk. They can do everything. It's Man, so I, many of us out here. I that love had no classes. I love Pat because yep, you, exactly. you, you can be dancing a hundred miles an hour and Pat's still gonna be going 15. Give me some right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Because she, um, no, she told me that I was when I was dancing up in Shawnee's. I forgot who I had danced with before. She asked asked me to dance with her. She said, "Oh, girl, why are you going so fast?" I said, "Girl, wait a minute. I gotta get my brain back together." Cause I, I did. <laughs> That's what happened. She said, "Where are you going to?" Right. And Lisa Allen said, "It's just so many women yeah. that we dance with, you know. And Dimples, she can dance with anyone too. She okay. just." She can do it all. Freestyle, whatever you got. That screaming Margie. She can dance too. Her sister, 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 sister Lily. Right. It's so many, uh, so many women out here. Yvonne Paramore. I saw her and Charlie Green, Reggie. They tore up the floor at the park Mm-hmm. I mean, these these is so many great dancers out here. That's, well, Yvonne is going to be the guest next week, Monday. She's going to be the guest. She is. Okay. I'll be sure go to listen. Be sure to listen. That's my girl. She, she, oh, she could go. Black Mary. They all can dance. And Black, the young man that Tina was talking about, Snake. We used to call them Black Snake. Yeah. He used to Ooh, dance with Black Mary at the old time of set. Yeah. He danced with her in the contest, too. Woo. Dance. He, he danced. danced with her in the contest. He did. Yes. Black he dance. Uh, oh, here you go. This what this person said. There are no qualifications, just like there are no standards. There aren't any standards in steps. 
Where did he get that from? And then he said, you teach what you know, and it's up to the student to determine if they <laughs> like what they get. All right now. Now, you know, a lot of that is their justification to, you know, profit in what they doing. So you, you know, said what? That's their justification for going after profit in what they're doing because they're right, going to exactly. right. so the first thing they make say, a million dollars. Just don't tell them that you teach in them Chicago because you know right. it's not Chicago. It's style. not Chicago style. That's not but, what we do. Sorry. One instructor, one instructor told me that ladies don't want to learn how to walk. That's why he doesn't teach walking in his class. That's the that must yes, be the generation. Do. But Reggie, you know, in Chinese class. A lot of those women want to learn how to walk. Yeah, I mean, I'm seeing. I see. Look at Tabitha. Look at Tabitha. This man said, "Do y'all?" Here's a question. Oh, and let me say, big up to Stretch Alex. How you doing? Where is a place an instructor can go to learn proper instruction? Tell them don't go to no class. Go to a set and and watch. Frequent a set where they have dancers that know what they're doing and dance and watch and save your money. How about that? Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing, Tina. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are there are some people. There are, <laughs> Stop laughing, Tina. There are there are some people that you know. One of the things uh, that I know that it's not enough written on how we danced in Chicago. It's not. And so, it's not. And, and so that's why a lot of people want to say, well, yeah, yeah, it ain't nothing written. You know, that's why they want to justify them doing what they want. But I'm glad now mm -hmm. that I'm glad now that the people I've talked I'm talking to on conversations, they get up and they they raise up and they talk about what's original, what we started doing, what we were doing in this town. And a lot of, if you're a new stepper, you ain't going to have no concept of what we're doing. So what you need to do is sit back and listen for a minute. Right. Before, ain't got a clue. Before you make any type of uh, uh, comment or suggestion about what we, what's happening here. Because what we're doing couldn't couldn't have been that bad because y'all picked it up. <laughs> exactly. Because exactly. I've, I've and heard, the music too. I've heard Calvin Barnes tell Sean. He I was dancing with Will one time, and Calvin was e explaining to Sean about my dance. So it's Calvin Barnes is a good instructor as well. Walking. And and, and bopping. I'm not gonna say stepping because. He bops. Yeah. Yeah, because Calvin is a bopper. But listen, Calvin, Calvin will can tell mumbo you, and he can mumbo too. He, he can do all dance. he can he do can all dance. the world class dances. But but Calvin to tell you he didn't go back. He he was not from Chicago. Calvin no, I know I heard he was from New he was, York. He's, he's from New York. And one of the reasons Calvin said the reason why he stayed here is because he didn't know how to walk. But then he ended up becoming one of the greatest walkers yes, in the town. He could walk. Yes, yes. Yeah, he, could, he could walk and he could do that. He could do turn. everything. He could do that turn like Lester. I mean, he could he could do some things because sometimes when Calvin slows down his walk, it looks like he, he's just into a, a slow down step or a, a, a slow down bop. You know, I'm looking at myself, look at this dude here. You know, and uh People have different ways, but I have to agree with uh, Buford and Lester saying that, number one, in your dance, you need personality. And number two, you need to have an attitude. When I show yes, you... Yes, personality, wow. attitude. If not, ask Jennifer Lopez on the world of dance. <laughs> right. What's that boy, Neo? All them is professionals. And exactly what we say is exactly that's the way it is. That's what dancing is. You well, attitude, like you own the dance, yeah, like Tina. Are. When Tina walks, that's right, Belle. That's exactly she owns her dance when she walks. That's she exactly what I was gonna say. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Is that Tina? Yeah. It, it, like it you was, own that dance. Yeah, you know? yeah. She get out there. She can do whatever they do. Whatever Sean do, Tina can do it. Right. Whatever Tick do, she can she's do all it. that. Yeah, it looked like it was just rolling through her blood, her veins, and right. you can see. You could see it all throughout her personality uh, as she that, talked. Right. When she was dancing with Mike, she was just yeah. flowing. It's, 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 
It's in your soul. Yeah, yeah. it's a dance. It's but dance. He, and he, he calls that her the definition of dance. And that's what the definition of dance is. Yeah, Tina says that's her posture. In right. The, you know, so. I know I got that. And I mean, of, and hey, believe me, Reggie, it's a lot of women. I've heard them say they wish they could have that posture right, and her, that walk that she does. A lot of them wish, but you have to develop. You can that's watch her, right. but you still have to develop that's your that's own style. Right. Yeah, well. Go to class to get your basics, then take you home. And do y'all perfect it at home? Cause that's what I, I taught my like cousin. we used to do with right. the, we had a uh, you could use a bottle, a doorknob, a look, at, a door knob, knob, a look in the mirror. Right, and that's I taught my cousin what in two or three weeks. I said follow what I do and just keep. I said when you washing dishes, standing there washing dishes, just go through the motion, go through the motion. Cause you gotta <laughs> get it in your mind. That it goes from your heart to your mind, and whatever you tell your mind, you can do it. Right. It ain't mm -hmm. no, it is no, my dance, uh, dancing teacher told us is no such word as can't. That's, that's what she true. told us. She didn't accept it or none of that. And that's, that's in more professional ballet, tap, jazz, and all that stuff. I took all of that. So and that's like you why said, I, we learn by watching. That's how I learned how to cha-cha and mumbo. My right, aunt taught me yeah. that by watching. So, like I said, keep walking, keep walking alive. Yes, we have to, Reggie. Chicago stuff. original no, style. That's walking. right. Yeah. Right. And it's just one love. And if you can, if you master your basics in your bop, that those same basics, I've heard. That's, same, that's your eight steps. Your eight, yeah. whatever you count it, they count eight steps. That's your steps right there. So it all transcends. So just be, you know, just just do your homework when you if you have to go to an instructor, do your homework. Oh, but I, my recommend my recommendation is that you come on the set and sit right. out and watch right. it. And see it first. And see yeah. it first. Right. Yeah, you come on the set. And right. then don't come on the set with any preconceived notions. If you exactly, from, Reggie. If you right. from disco in house, leave that where it is, because it's two different types of sets. You ain't never gonna hear no slow record in a house set. Ever. No, ever. You know, if you go up there and ask the DJ like that, it's like his eyes gonna kill you and he gonna look at you like you out of your mind. Do you know where you are? And I think that we should start feeling the same way about our music and what we do at our sets. Our sets is a variety of music. Yes, right. it was. Yes, it was. You know, yeah, yeah I, I hear you, Andre. <laughs> yes, it was. It was. It was. We did. We, we did, did it all. We did it all. You know, we had the intermission. We did the line dance. You know, and then we had Bus the hard stop, jazz. whatever you call it. Yeah, yeah the hard jazz. You play jazz music thing. where we could slow bop. Yeah. It's, so everything, everything will had an order, but I guess because you know, you know how it gets when we want to start making some money in enterprise. Yeah, that's what happened because they can make money off of it. This, this is the way you do. I show you. Yeah, I show you. Yeah, and then one of one is a one of brother, it's a brother that's just right now saying, you know, profit. They profit digging. You know, he said profit. what? He he told he called it. Profit digging or profit dropping. And that's what it is. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Bill Perkins says, if anyone wants to learn the ori original walk, get in contact with Tina Wilson, <laughs> Daryl Davis, <laughs> or Buford. Go you ahead, Bill. Go, Bill. Go ahead, oh, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> so true. But he Ooh. just told the truth, though. You know, my folks from D.C., they're coming in. And D.C. hand dancers are having issues, too. But, they're, but their original dancers are standing up just like we're doing here. Ladies, right. they're not trying to go there and change, change, uh, go there and learn whatever they're doing and come back in Detroit either. And, and Reggie, Drew, uh, Drury Alexander would tell you the same thing. He has a dance that they do. In Texas, don't they do the hand? Yeah, they got a hand dance in Texas. It's, it's they similar. had it before he he moved there, right? And wow. it's similar to walking, right. but he he understands our style, and he he knows. Yeah, he, well, he, he adjusts to our dance as well. 
but the rest well, of them well, don't, don't, the don't, 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 don't want to. They don't want to. They would rather say, that's old, that's this, that's that. And everything, no old and everything that's old is new. And everything that's new is old. All yeah, you got to go back and look at them dancers in the 30s and the 40s and the 50s. The and man, the same the thing. And, and, and all the stuff is, that new schools call themselves, they're doing it. They like I said, they were even doing the uh the freestyle. I I, I uh sent it to Daryl. I was like, look at this. It's the same thing. Just the freestyle it over. Reggie. It's a movie. Uh I think these are uh it's one of those uh movies from the thin man. I think it's another thin man. Mm -hmm. And it's two mm -hmm. black Cubans dancing. They're doing freestyle, and so you know this is in the 30s. Yeah. Reggie, rent that movie or buy it and look, and you'll see these two Cubans dancing in the 30s and doing freestyle. All you gotta do is look at Ricky Ricardo on Lucy Show. Sure. Hey, it's the same thing. Larry, Lawrence and Letha. Yeah. Larry, uh, Larry danced similar to those yes, Cubans yes. in that movie. Reggie, mm -hmm. you got to watch that movie and see what mm -hmm. I'm talking about. Right, you know, Larry, Larry, Larry told me, you know, why ain't nobody asking him about the dance, you know, about asking him about walking. But please ask him then. Yeah, well, you know, I, de I definitely have to ask him because, you know. Please him. ask that soul brother. Because he, yeah. he has his, he has his own, his, he, he's doing two step and yeah. he does it well. Very exactly. well. Exactly. And there it's no is. reason for it's no reason why he should not even win the contest, but they're not gonna let him win. And mm -hmm. I'm keeping it real. You know about that. You know, and, and see, one of one of the things that the new DJs uh, kind of forget and don't understand is that 99 percent, 99.9 percent about all uh, of all the music on our set is about love and relationships. Exactly. You know, and, and that, that didn't come from me. That didn't come from me. Sam Chapman said that. You know, well, whoever it came from, if it's the truth, it don't matter where it came. It's the, it's the truth. <laughs> yes, buddy. So this. Yep, is, they say we are African Americans culturally. Salsa originates from Cuba. African Americans culturally, we dance. Salsa originates from Cuba. <laughs> Right, I, and we why they not trying to change salsa? Well, you, you know, why they it, not going to take a uh take a salsa class and go change that and take it all around the world? Yeah, yeah, see, that's right, and see, and that's that's one of the things bopping is really actually from our vantage point, it's really actually a folk dance because it was passed down to us, and that's all the folk dance means, it's right? Like, that it's is because uh. My uh aunt used to take that square dance and stuff, uh swing your partner round and round head, and they <laughs> and they change partner, and you can't go change that. It's exactly how it goes. Mm -hmm. It's exactly how square dancing is square dance. Uh our dance is Chicago, and that's exactly what it is. And whatever else they taking all around the world, I guarantee you, I'll say it again. That ain't how we dance in Chicago. Sorry. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not what we do. And I don't want anybody from out of town to get offended no. by that. But we got to stand up for what's in our house. Right. We got to stand up. We got to stand up because it's like it's been like for too long. You know, I tell you and I tell people this, you know. Step in the name of step in the name of love was the worst song to it was ever, a good song. ever. Ever. It was a good song, but it was, I mean, it was good that it came out because it was a video for the record, but it was the worst song to have an impact on our well, community. Well, Reggie, have you ever stepped in the name of love? No. Thank <laughs> no, you. No, 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 but if you go to another city and they play that, they'll come to the dance floor like a herd of cattle, thinking, thinking that that's, that's the song, but that's not oh, the title oh, song. Oh, that was a promotional that was a promotion uh, video. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, if I just go sit and talk, what you say? Amen. Somebody said another city yeah, has African based dance in New York. Amen. Toronto. <laughs> another city has 
based out of New York. Uh, okay, well, so they got all the dancing places there. What's that? Uh, Gilliard and all that stuff. My sister got uh students that took dancing from her. They they students at Gilliard now. So get out of here. You know, uh, even though and stretch, even though you say that, and that's that's a true statement. And I know that's in response to what uh, Bob Daddy said. Uh, that's okay. I mean, but that's for as as far as what I want to say, I want to say or share the story of that have not been told the story that Andrea told the story that Val told and the story that uh, Tina has told has not been told or has not been shared with anyone. We've seen, we've seen other stories. We've seen the stories from this group. We've, we've seen the stories from that group. I think one of the things that really messed me up, See, you got Bob Daddy, you know, he wants to know what dance from New York. Okay, but one of the things that messed me up, one of the first things that messed me up is I heard somebody from out of town tell me that Pete Frazier started the world's largest stepping point. I got to go on that one. Is we going to close down? <laughs> no, 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 no. That was the thing. I can't even call his name right now. Uh, dog Rodney, Rodney Burke. Rodney Burke. And what's his name? Grayling that passed away. Right. Yeah, they were they were they both working out of, out of the start bus. that, and they got one of them worked at Budweiser, and that's yeah, what. And, and, and I don't know how where they picked up Mary Green. Now I don't know. I don't know that story. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, I don't know, but I know it was Mary Green, Rodney Burke, and Grayling, and they put that together. Well, now listen, now Andrea, Mary, Mary Green was paid to do her job. Right. Because uh, the mon the funding came from Budweiser. Uh, yeah, so that's in right, baby. I had my jacket, my shoes, <laughs> my, uh, my trip on the boat out there, all that. They gave us a certificate for all kind of stuff. So get out of here. Pete was in that contest. So how could he have started it? <laughs> okay, he was in all the first ten, and he <laughs> the first ten, and he won second place on the tenth one. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> so, no. so that, but, but when I when I responded to that, I, this is that was one of the reasons why. why. That's why he can't take. You know that, So that was one of the reasons why I went to to do this because you know it was a lot of misconceptions. And when 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 the new people talk about the history, they talk about the history that began with them. Well, <laughs> sorry, that didn't. So sorry. And he a, he a spin off from uh Black Tie. So get the hell up out of here. That yeah. Brad Peterson started. And right. I'm doing all them and dimples yeah. was the sort of uh, BA, they were uh at fish. They were sweet, uh he was a darn sweetheart. Right. Thank you. And then uh black tie, and when black tie broke up then it turned to majestic gents because they couldn't use the black tie name right they couldn't because that was brad peterson yeah so they need they that's why i say if you don't know ask somebody because people could tell you anything anything mm -hmm. and i know they get mad or uh say stuff about me but i don't care they talked about jesus christ i know because i was there from the part where i started right 68 69 i was there so and I know who was there. Well, there you so have I it. Ain't, I ain't got a lot. So I want I want to tell you, ladies, thank you. Uh, I, I thought we was gonna get under under the two hours, but we done went over two hours. I know once we got to talking that it was gonna happen. So uh, Tina, Val, Andrea, thank you all so much and for sharing what you know and i know it's going to be just as exciting monday when uh oh i can't wait i can't wait yeah hey, and, and here check this out now when i call when i talk to yvonne yvonne and she's so humble yvonne said look look she said i you know and she said i get tired of people just wanting to call me and black mary mm -hmm. she said but we got to talk we're gonna bring sandra 
And then, right. she, then she, right. gonna, she, then she gonna tell me that it was Sandra's mo mother that was collecting the money, and she, she still was. I'm the door. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna talk. We gonna talk about it because see, one of the things I think the DJs don't know is that the social clubs that was started by the social club sets that was started by them women, by those women, was designed to preserve the music. They wanted to keep Richard Pegee and Herb Kent. Because mm -hmm. that they came out at you know were just about to come out at the time when the disco era was coming, mm -hmm. and none of us is going to no disco. We'll yeah. book her. Yeah. Her in San Franciscan in the basement. Shoot, get up out of here. Then, and but none of us were going to no disco. Now we could boogie. Now if we, yeah, right. we could yeah. boogie. I if used to go to Bill Johnson set. Yeah, I used to go to some of them. I used to go with my sister, Ding Bats. I used to go yeah. Yeah. Back to on yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, on Tuesday go. they had a house, but I but I made sure Wednesday I was at that bullet bag with Barnett. Yeah, and and our sets was designed to preserve bopping, stepping, and walking music. Right, right. So and all this just to reserve dressing dressing up. Going out, putting your heels on, putting your suit on, putting your town. So no you, jeans, no combat boots, none of that. I'm, I'm glad you said that. No gym shoes. Combat boots is for hippity hop. It's not for no darn uh I dance. Combat boots is for hip hop. Really, we never saw when I came out, we never saw those guys with they never wore jeans. Never. They were always dressed. I never saw Lester it by any of them guys in jeans. They always would they are all those guys dress. Even at and, the East of the Royal. And, right. And the, and the women the dress. Yeah. We didn't wear no we didn't wear no gym shoes and shorts. So it wasn't no come as you are stepping. No, it wasn't. No, it was. We was always dressed. And we might not have no money, but we was clean. And then you always have adequate. Yeah, it was adequate dance adequate for everyone on that floor. Yeah. It wasn't no pushing and shoving, and you elbow, went dance elbow. You went dancing all over the place. When it was a walk record, it was strictly walking. When nobody stepping on a walking record. Mm. When we was when we were bopping, we were bopping, yeah. and bopping that square. The man makes a square around the lady, no matter if he turned or whatever, it still was in that square. It's in, in that same square. You wasn't mm. all over the floor. Going up and down, taking up the whole darn lane. You going up and down. Like and, and the there. DJs didn't have to say walkers on the inside, <laughs> steppers on the outside. You didn't have to say that because you were not stepping on the walking record. Yeah. You get yeah. you, you get told off. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You would they would tell you to get off the dance floor or they would stop the music. Yeah, exactly. And everybody could walk. So we didn't have those issues. Mm. Uh uh Rachel, I think I got to go into uh yeah, we got a raider in on Twitch. But in the meantime, let me thank you all for being a part of this here. Tina, let me yes. get you up here. And just let me tell you, thank you so much. You know, we thought it was going to be about 15, 20 minutes. And next thing you know, we on here for two hours. I know once we got started, it was, started, it was going to be some. But I just want you to know that I appreciate you and thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. See you at the 50. I hope Felicia let you come out. Yeah, I'm getting ready, ready for my Thank you for having us on your show. I'm going to go yeah. put on my little dress. Yeah. The right. in the house. yeah. And so and so I'll see y'all when I get there. All right. Good night. All right. All right. Bless your heart. Thank you, Andrea. Bless thank you. Too. Thank you, Val. Tina, thank you All so right. much. You're and welcome. bless your heart too. Bye bye. Right. Yeah, so there you have it. I've done it. I got those walking sisters. So it came out all right. Them ladies, if, and then y'all just don't know. We had some fun just getting it together, but it worked out, and y'all heard it like it was. You know, it got close. You know, I got some crazy comments on there. I'm going to have to clean them up. But I'm getting ready to get out here and do my thing and just have some fun. Listen, step in. I don't care how you look at it or dancing. I dance from Chicago. 
it's, it's just only three ways. you either bopper, stepper, or a walker. And whatever one you classify yourself, you got to know how to do the other two. It's just that simple if you're going to be complete with the Chicago style. And Chicago people are standing up for what this dance really is. So thank you so much. And I shall see you all. I shall see you all uh, at the 50 if I go. Well, I'm going to ask the wife. She's going to let me go. But take care, and I'll see you Monday when our guest is uh, Yvonne Jefferson and uh, Sandra Swain, the old-timers, the original old-timers, the 5th of July. All that and much more on Conversations. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm.